In part one of the Merging and Arranging Graphs tutorial, I'll show you how to create a merged graph from multiple graphs. I begin with two workbooks of data where there's a graph for each book. I have two separate graph windows at this point. If I now decide to merge the two graphs into one graph, one graph window, one page, I need to bring up the Merge Graphs dialog from the Graph menu The default is to merge all in active folder, which is what I want in this case, but I could have changed it to be all in project or specified. The difference between all in active folder and all in active folder open is in this case, if I had chosen this one, it really doesn't matter in my case, but if I had some of these windows hidden in the Project Explorer window, then they would not show up in this all in active folder open mode. So we're going to merge. It shows the preview. This is actually what we would like. We can make some additional adjustments here in terms of spacing. Let's set the vertical gap to zero. And let's change the page setup to portrait. And let's show the frame. OK, we can click OK, close the dialog, and a new merged graph window is created. Let's modify this graph a bit further. I'm going to double click on the top x-axis, go to the Tick Labels tab, show the major labels, and click OK. The two graph legends are the same in the output page. Origin uses the worksheet columns comments label row, or if empty it will use the long name if there is one. To modify this, click on Graph Update Legend, Open Dialog. We want to update for the entire page, which will update each layer. I want to leave it at Custom and set it to Worksheet, which will use the worksheet name, as it did in the other graph, the two original graph windows. This concludes Part 1 of the Merging and Arranging Graphs tutorial. Thank you for watching.